Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Zoo Tycoon scenario. Uh, this time it is the second of the advanced scenarios. Uh, and it's also the second one that actually comes with the base game Zoo Tycoon and the complete collection. Uh, this time it's called African Savannah Zoo. Uh, and it says the government of Kenya has hired you to run a pilot program to save troublesome animals. They want to change the policy of destroying these animals and instead provide a safe place for them to live. Opening up the area to tourists will help provide the resources needed to fund this program. Local rangers have gathered together some problem animals from around the country and moved them to one large area. These animals have been put in small holding pens around the park. Your first task is to build exhibits for these animals. Once this is done, your focus should be on increasing the species variation of African savanna animals. To be successful, you only need 20 African savanna species. This could be 20 of the same animal or 20 different species, it's up to you. Just remember that people see, people enjoy seeing lots of different types of animals. Okay, I'm going to be perfectly honest, uh, I don't remember this scenario at all. Um, and I don't remember playing it, and if I did, I mean I will have beaten it, but um years ago and like i said i don't remember it at all so either um it's very difficult and i've blotted it from my memory or it's very easy and i've blotted it from my memory or it's just quite boring and i've blotted it from my memory but what i'm trying to say is that i've blotted it from my memory i don't remember this at all so i'm going into this basically completely blind um anyway we do have a time limit of 24 months, it's currently January 1st, obviously. Uh, we have to exhibit at least 20 animals from the savannah in Africa, um, as is stated in the description. We need an exhibit suitability rating of at least 80, which is very low, uh, for 13 exhibits. But it doesn't have to be 13 different species, so we could actually do like the same exhibit twice. Generally a bad idea, but I'm just saying it's an option. Uh, animal happiness of 93, that's pretty easy. Guest happiness rating of 93. If you haven't already checked out my island zoo scenario, which is the previous one to this scenario, which is actually uploaded at time of recording, check it out because uh, what you'll learn is that I struggled a lot with guest happiness, so guest happiness rating of 93. Um, it's quite high and it's quite difficult to maintain. Saying that, we aren't building on a stupid map where we can't change the terrain and flatten or raise the terrain at will. Um, nor are we playing on a map that's like the most inconvenient zoo layout ever where guests have to wander around for ages. Fortunately, uh, we can change the terrain height and low and flat and raise the terrain as necessary. Uh, and we also need a zoo rating of 75, which is basically a given. In fact, the zoo rating is currently 77, but for some reason, that's not satisfied. Um, so, as is stated in the description, uh, we have to build exhibits for these animals. Once this is done, we need to increase the species variation of African savannah animals. Technically, um, we don't actually have to use these specific animals. Uh, and we have 11 animals as it is, one of which is very angry, that is Giraffe 1, who has zero animal happiness. Overall we have an animal happiness of 76, and we need it to be 93. But yeah, technically we don't actually have to use these animals, and obviously these animals are in exhibits that are highly unsuitable, and possibly the right size, but they're all really spread out. So. Unfortunately, uh, we do have a tiny bit of poo, and without a zookeeper, that can't be raked up. Uh, so we do need one zookeeper at the start. Um, but what I'm going to do is basically keep these animals in their exhibits for now. I'm just going to destroy all these trees, which actually nets me an extra $40,992, uh, which is a hell of a lot. 
but I'm going to keep the fence in place. Uh, actually, that only netted me an extra sort of $11,000. So most of the money that I would have got, I've actually not been able to achieve because I've not actually destroyed the fences. Saying that, um, if there's no poo in any of these exhibits, then we can just destroy them. The reason I'm saying that we can't destroy them is because if if we just destroy them, this poo can only be cleared up, I think, by a maintenance worker, or so I've read. It can't be cleared up by a zookeeper, and I'm not sure if we get any money from, like, the compost building. Um, also, with regards to the zoo map, it's, you know, fairly square, not, like, a weird shape or anything. It's not the biggest map, but it's also big enough, um, considering we only need 13 exhibits. So, space isn't an issue. What might be an issue is the fact that we do actually have quite a lot of hilly terrain and like we have a big sort of valley over here and also a giant river. Um, but saying that, if we flatten up this area, then we've probably got enough room around here to just build a load of exhibits over here. Or alternatively, we flatten up some of this canyon, which would be a lot more expensive than we build over here. I'm thinking we probably just flatten up this area and then build a load of exhibits around here and expand the zoo out sort of this way and then leave probably most of this alone. Uh, we'll see. What we do need though, obviously, is the zookeeper. Who will then clean that up. I think, and I might be wrong on this, but I think the giraffe might be the only animal with any poo in its exhibit, but it's worth checking nonetheless. So there's nothing in the zebra. Um, hang on, do this methodically. Giraffe, gazelle. Uh, yes, yeah, no poo around there. Lion. No poo in there. Uh, hippo. Nope, no poo. Zebra, we did check. Oops, zebra, we did check earlier. Um, yeah, there's no, no poo. And uh, ostrich. There's no poo. So basically the only poo that we actually have is in the um, giraffe exhibit. And once that's cleared up, we can basically um, delete this exhibit fencing and then uh, make work on moving these animals into suitable exhibits. Once that's done, then we can start thinking about actually, you know, making a profit and building proper exhibits for these animals. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually build the compost building, which is simple enough. Uh, I am going to destroy this fence though, and I think I can just pick these lines up. Um, no, it won't let me pick them up and just put them in an exhibit anyway. So if I unpause the game and then very quickly move them, I think then I can pick them up and just put them in an exhibit. They have to sort of officially escape before I can actually... Yeah, there you go. So now I, now I can put them in the crate because the game's like, oh, these have escaped. Until they technically escape, uh, I had to just wait for the game to recognise that they'd escaped. Obviously, um, you know, uh, zoo rating and guest happiness and animal happiness at the moment are all going to be really low. Um, and as I say, you don't actually have to use these animals because we can just adopt animals as we like. And we don't have to use exclusively animals from the savannah, although we do need 20 African savannah animals. Um, but, saying that, this zookeeper is going to tranquilise the lion that's escaped. I'm actually just going to assign him to this exhibit, just to make sure he actually just stays there and cleans up all the poo. Okay, uh, we are going to get a load of escaped animals in a second, but it's fine. That's obviously part of the plan. Alright, so guest happiness is currently zero. We have no guests. Zoo rating is eight because we have a load of escaped animals. I'm going to increase this to 29, but nobody will actually come to the zoo 
with a Z rating of 8. Surely. And also there's nothing to see. We have no exhibits. Other than this one, which is just, you know. Um, covered in poo right now. Um, okay, now we need to move all these animals over. Stretches. Actually, hang on. Right, lions are over there. Giraffe is fine. Lions, lions, hippo, ostrich. Needs to be moved over to the lions. Ostrich. As I've said before, or actually I might not have said this before, but the noises that the ostrich make are exactly the same as the Chordipteryx. So basically when they made dinosaur digs they just reused the sound effects for the Chordipteryx as the ostrich. Which kind of makes sense because the Chordipteryx is basically a prehistoric bird dinosaur and the ostrich is like the sort of modern day equivalent of that. So uh, I can excuse him for that. This gazelle doesn't seem to make any noise, but I'm wondering if that's maybe because the game's paused, but then all the other animals have made noise. So, okay, so we have uh, 10 animals here, and then obviously the giraffe, who doesn't like his exhibit and is really unhappy, but is just going to have to kind of deal with that until that poo gets cleared up. That is the only... Oh, no wait, there's two poos. Okay. No, don't place food. Oh, for fuck's sake, don't... Fine, place food down. Completely pointless. Now rake up the poo, please. I hope we didn't have to pay for that food. Alright. As you can see as well, we did actually go from 832 to 882 because we made $50 from selling off that poo. Now we can sell off this fence. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with this food. So once this animal escapes, there you go. Right, he can be moved away to here. Alright. Now this zookeeper is basically going to have not a lot to do. So he's just monitoring zoo. He's assigned to no exhibits. Um, so I guess now the actual scenario can begin. Um, and on that note, I'm going to save the game as African Savannah Zoo. And like I say, I don't remember how difficult this actually is. Um, but we do have quite a bit of starting money at present, uh, but saying that we do need to probably level this up around here. That costs $2,000. So we can basically start the scenario with absolutely nothing, although we will save a lot of money because we already have a load of animals, and we can build some exhibits around here. And then obviously we want to build things like carousels and restaurants and gift stands or gift shops rather, to make the animals Freudian slip, make the uh, guests as happy as possible. Alright, um, let's just go with the cobblestone path. And then we want to make it go over here instead. Uh, Right, that'll do for now. So, unfortunately, as I was saying in the island zoo scenario, again, if you haven't watched that, check it out. Um, all the animals that I had in the island zoo scenario were actually really attractive and popular with guests. Unfortunately, a lot of African savannah animals, for whatever reason, are really not popular. The ones that are, are hippo, lion, giraffe... African elephant, which we don't have any. Um, African wild dog, which is attractive but requires like a big exhibit and a lot of animals. Um, and
and yeah, like possibly a few others. But of the ones that we have, most are not really that attractive. Like you would think that zebras might be reasonably attractive. They're not. Gazelle, not attractive to animal or to guests rather. Uh, yeah, long ostrich, not attractive either. Long story short, these animals are not attractive to guests for whatever reason. Saying that, um, ah, damn, that's nine squares. That's really quite annoying. Okay, I can do it like that instead. That's fine. So that is ten by whoopsie. So in case it isn't obvious, I'm going for the uh, hippopotamus first. So that's ten, nine, eight, seven. Uh, and as you can see, most of this is like salt water anyway, so that just saves on costs. For fuck's sake. Alright. Uh, and by building it by by building the exhibit seven by ten, I can save a lot of money on. Um, sorry, I can have a uh, second hippo, which obviously builds towards the uh, twenty animal from the African savanna goal that we need anyway. Mr. Zookeeper. Uh, rather than wander around in the middle of nowhere where there was an exhibit, but isn't anymore, why don't you make yourself useful and assign yourself to this hippopotamus exhibit? Whoa, I've done that wrong. Okay. Um, I'm going to save the game again. Yeah, so basically the scenario can actually sort of begin now. Uh, right, so... Not enough savannah, not enough dirt, not enough fresh... Ah. I've made a mistake here because I've put it on uh, salt water and he wants fresh water. Okay, there is a bit of fresh water here, but yeah, I've made a bit of a mistake because I didn't realise this was actually salt water. And he wants fresh water. Whoops! Oh, I'm making a complete mess of this. Alright. We're probably going to get the message from the National Academy of Zoos, or whatever they're called in this game, saying that uh, due to this low zoo rating, we're probably not going to be able to adopt any animals for a little bit. <laughs> Too much salt water. Um, okay, well, where's the salt water then? Because this is all fresh water. Ah, there you go. It was hiding. Right. Yeah, so those animals are going to make quite a bit of noise. Uh, as for foliage, it's saying to use water reeds, but I think... Let me check my guide. I was going to say, there is a type of foliage that it does actually want, and it's, according to my guide, it's saying to use Acacia cathra trees, uh, which is not that one. Uh, do we actually have it? If we don't have it, then I'm just going to use... Yeah, I'm just going to use uh, thorn bush Because it's cheap. We only actually need 80 suitability, to be fair. Uh, can I put in... Okay, that's 87 suitability. Can I put in some water reeds, or is it going to complain? That's 88 suitability. 89 suitability. Um. 90 suitability at that. Okay, I'm going to leave that at that. Uh, we are actually starting to get some guests. Um... Right, how big is that? Because that's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We could put a 6 by 10 exhibit in, which I believe is actually big enough for 4 zebra. Um, yeah, so we can actually put in 4 zebra in that little space. Uh, we will have to adopt some, but uh, that's not an issue. And then Mr. Zookeeper. Can basically just go
go between zebras and hippopotamus. And then, okay. Uh, yeah. Simple. There is a bit of confusion with the naming, because these animals were there at the start of the scenario. So, their name is like Hippopotamus 1. But then, because I've just adopted a Hippopotamus, he's also Hippopotamus 1. So, long story short, we're going to get some very confusing naming going on with these animals. Um, and also, uh, we actually have two zebra, but they're both female. Whoops. Uh, so we actually probably want to get two male zebra anyway. So that these guys can breed. Uh, and also, fortunately, zebras are possibly one of the easiest animals to create terrain for, because it's just like almost all savannah, and then a tiny bit of fresh water, and then some rocks, a bit of foliage, and a shelter. They're incredibly easy to build an exhibit for, and gazelle are the same. Also tall grass is comparatively cheap. Oops. And a uh, shelter. Oh yeah, I just noticed that the hippo doesn't actually want a shelter. I suppose because you can just use the um, the water as a shelter. And there you go. Suitability 97. So, with some of these animals, it's basically really hard, if not impossible, to get like 100 suitability. Um, but fortunately, these animals don't really need big exhibits, as you can see. Um, zebra are not popular with guests, but putting them right next to the zoo entrance is probably a really good idea in that regard because it means that a lot of guests will actually just see them anyway. Um, whoops. So, we can also put down the ostrich, and we have two adult ostrich, male and female, and we also have a female baby ostrich. Um, now, ostrich, according to the guide, uh, require only 10 squares per animal. So we can actually get away with a minuscule exhibit. Um, seeing that, I'm actually going to make it 5 by 10, and that way we can have two adult males, two adult females, um, and then the baby. So it'll be sort of two males and two females when they actually do decide to grow up. Um, again, ostrich, unfortunately, not popular with guests. Um, The most attractive of the animals that we currently have is actually the hippo, followed by the lion and then the giraffe. And then after that, the gazelle, the ostrich, and the... Um, hang on, does it actually want... I did want a bit of a fresh water. Yeah, gazelle, ostrich, and um, zebra are all really not attractive for some reason. Uh, not enough shelters and foliage. And yeah, you can just use the tall grass. I think the idea is that you're supposed to sort of, in like a freeform zoo, you would probably put zebra, ostrich, and gazelle all in like one giant exhibit because they're, they're collectively they're not very attractive to guests, but their exhibits are all qu quite similar as you can see, and they're all pretty cheap. Um, I think gazelle is probably basically the same as the zebra. Um, so, in fact, yeah, gazelle is actually incredibly easy to build an exhibit for. So, we still need to build giraffe, lion, and gazelle. Uh, we have, we currently have two gazelle, one male and one female. 
Uh, so I'm going to build the exhibit 6 by 10 and that way I can have um, two adult males and two adult females. No dirt, no sand. Yep, gazelles and zebras are incredibly easy to build exhibits for. I just noticed though that uh, if you did build some kind of giant exhibit, the ostrich does actually want a bit of dirt in this exhibit, whereas uh, gazelle and zebra do not, so that might cause slight issues. But honestly, I think we're not going to do it for this scenario, but I think that is something that you could do, realistically. Uh, already we've got 95 guest happiness. I don't really know how, because there's nothing to do in this zoo apart from look at some animals, which I guess is like obviously the main function of a zoo. Uh, but we have like no restaurants, no gift shops, no anything like that. Um, we could put a restaurant down there, I suppose. And then we can put a carousel down there. And a gift shop we can put... I suppose we could put it over there, or alternatively we'll put it just next to the carousel. I'm probably going to actually want to level that terrain up as well. Just like that. So... We have 56 guests in the 57 guests with 94 guest happiness. We do need at least 93, and we also need animal happiness 93, which it currently isn't because it's 85 because um, we've not finished building all the exhibits for the initial animals yet. So that's fine. Uh, let's charge $16 for the restaurant. Whoops, wrong colour. Uh, Every time I build a carousel or an elephant ride, I always think like it looks like a circus, and in my mind, circuses are red and yellow, so that's why I always go for that colour scheme. Um, okay, so we now have like the bare minimum that we need to keep the guests happy in terms of buildings. Obviously, we can also actually build an elephant ride, which would be very fitting for the African Savanna Zoo. Uh, we can build like the animatronic theatre, uh, which we'll build there. And then if I change this to... Um, asphalt is actually the cheapest terrain, because I can't build on... Um, I can't build on uh, salt water, as you can see, it's not letting me build there. Then I can fit an elephant ride in. Uh, we will build an elephant exhibit later on because elephants are, you know, obviously elephants are cool, but elephants are very attractive to guests. Um, and then... So, we still have giraffe and lion. Uh, I'm going to save the game, actually. So, if we got another lion and another giraffe, then we'd have 16 animals, and then two elephants, and then maybe, like, um, I think leopard is quite popular. Cheetah, for some reason, is not very popular, if I remember. And then leopard is actually very popular, I think. Or reasonably popular. Uh, although saying that the leopard does require the cat climbing tree. But for now, uh, we can build some giraffe exhibit and a lion exhibit. So, if we want two giraffes, checking the guide again, call me a cheat all you like, but I'm actually just. Doing, I'm not actually doing this to find out how to win the scenario, I'm just doing it to find out how big to make exhibits. Uh, so a giraffe, two adult giraffes require a 7 by 10 exhibit, which, yeah, is uh, not very big. 
so that's fine. Alright. Uh, we will actually need more zookeepers, I just realised. So we've already got one for the hippo and the zebra. Uh, we can have one for... Um, the ostrich and the gazelle, and then this guy will eventually look after the lions and the giraffes. Uh, I'm actually going to rename these exhibits as well, because I don't like exhibit 1, exhibit 2, exhibit 3, etc. Uh, because A, it looks it makes the zoo look unprofessional, but it makes it look better actually naming your exhibits, uh, but also mainly uh, when it just says zookeeper is assigned to exhibit one, I have no idea what's in exhibit one. And then I have to go and find out. So, yeah. Um, currently have one giraffe, which is a female, so we're going to need another male giraffe. And they're going to need a small giraffe shelter. Uh, they want umbrella thorn trees. I think we could probably get away with other trees, but um, for, for the sake of um, safety, we'll just use the umbrella thorn because I think they actually require quite a bit of trees as well. But they want one square of fresh water. Why do all these animals like want, want some fresh water, but like literally barely any? Like, what's the point? Um, all right. Ironically, lions and giraffes actually have fairly similar exhibits. But obviously, you don't put them together because they'll just eat each. Well, the lions will just eat the giraffes. So that's 97 suitability. And there you go, that's uh, 99. 100 suitability for the giraffes. Which means you get an extra $15,000. So straight away, I've already actually made $40,000 from um, award money. And I haven't really done anything yet. So this guy is assigned to giraffe exhibit. Uh, this guy... I swear I assigned you to these exhibits. Maybe I was going to, but there weren't any animals at the time. Um, so, even though these animals aren't very attractive to the guests, they're actually um, bringing in quite a lot of guests. I suppose when it's only $29, you do get a lot of guests anyway. Um, the hippo is attractive, as I say, but the zebra, ostrich, and gazelle are not popular with guests. But I suppose the fact that they're right next to the zoo entrance makes no difference. I've just realised, very annoyingly, I've actually built the gift shop one square too far forward, and I don't know whether to leave it there or to get rid of it and then just build a new one. Um, I'd get 480 for selling it, and then if I built a new one it would cost me 600 so all in all it actually only cost me 120 to just get rid of it and build a new one. And then charge $10. Okay. So, yeah. Slight mistake on my part. It's fine. Alright. So, build a bit of path ground like that. And then, for three lions, I think it's a 6x10 exhibit. Uh, just check. Yeah. So we want one male lion and two female lions, uh, which is a 6 per 10 exhibit. Guess happiness has just dropped to 93, 
that's fine. Um, we can always work later on to build it up. And as I say, I'm kind of surprised it is as high as it is when these animals are not very attractive for the guests. Um, and also we have like basically no scenery. So there is that. Uh, we can put in some decorative hedge. So we will probably need a lot of scenery, but hopefully not as much as we had in the um, island zoo scenario. Because that was actually a hell of a lot. Uh, we can put a animal theatre though. And then that should still give us enough room for the lion enclosure. Of, of course. It's like I planned it. I didn't. But it's like I did. And then we can also put in a bit of path around here. Perfect. And a bit of path around here. And then we can also put in a petting zoo. Which doesn't fit there. Okay. Not to worry. Uh, put petting zoo in like that. And then put some paths around here. Path around here. Path here. Path there. And then round here. Can't put any buildings, obviously, but we can put in a snake pit. Bighorn statue and Sphinx statue and uh, water well and an elephant statue. Uh, we can also put in like brick wall where we're not gonna have like exhibits or paths just to sort of demarcate the end of the zoo. Um, so like for example we could put brick wall here and probably actually want to put more paths in like so and then we can put in some um, observation areas here there you go guest happiness is up to 97 now And the zoo looks a bit nicer for my efforts. I will level up this terrain here and put a square of path there. And then if I decide to build anything over here then I won't put scenery down. Otherwise I could actually put more brick wall around there. Which I think I might actually do anyway. Um, I can always delete it later on. And we can put in a zoo map here. And I doubt we're going to need any benches, but we could put some in anyway. Uh, just maybe like prematurely. They don't cost anything. Well, they cost $40, but, you know, they don't cost anything in maintenance. So, then we can also put in some lamps. There you go. And finally, a bit of low hedge fence. Just around these buildings to make them look a bit nicer.
And there you go, Guess Happy is 96. Guess seems to be very happy with your zoo. So they should. Um, so save the game. Bring back the trees. Um, we've got a tiny little 3x3 three three, uh, bit round here, so why don't we put in something like uh, we can put in a couple of observation areas over here. And then we can put in a zoom map, uh, exhibit signs here. And then we can also put in a Maasai warrior statue. That's quite fitting for African Savannah Zoo in Kenya. Um, put in another big horn statue over here and over here. Sphinx statues and an obelisk. There you go. And already we've got a baby giraffe. So, guess animal happiness is 90, guess happiness is 96. So that's only really because these lions aren't in any exhibit. Um, so let's build up the lion enclosure. Okay, so they're going to need a wood shelter and some rocks. Uh, we're going to need another female lion, not giraffe. Uh, we're going to need lion climbing rock there and there, and we're going to need some fresh water. I wonder what the most popular animal, or like the most common animal that I have built an exhibit for is. Like, I feel like it's lion. I feel like I build lion exhibits in basically every scenario. Um, Bengal tiger I feel like I build a lot as well. But I don't know, I feel like I build lion exhibits in basically every zoo tycoon scenario. Obviously not, you know, um, dinosaur digs and marine mania. Although marine mania sometimes, yeah. Uh, too much savannah, not enough sand. But yeah, like, it would be interesting to know which animal I've built the most exhibits for over the course of these scenarios. And also, um, when I actually finish all the scenarios in the game, including all the dinosaur digs and marine mania, which I also plan to do, um, if anybody actually tallies up which exhibit animal got the most exhibits. I'd be genuinely interested to know that. So that's 99 suitability. Don't seem to be able to get 100. Um, but yeah. So straight away we have Animal Happiness 95. Or 96, that's actually. Uh, Guest Happiness 95. I didn't increase the price on the Animal Theatre. Electronic theatre. I think I might have actually already increased that from default, but let's make it six dollars anyway. So yeah, I might actually have to increase the admission price up to forty-nine dollars at this rate. Um, how many admissions are we actually getting? Yeah, we're getting quite a lot of admissions. So let's actually just increase the price of admission to forty-nine. We should still get quite a lot of guests coming into the zoo. So if we actually just look at the zoo, uh, we have one, two, three, well, we have six exhibits, and we also have uh, 17 animals from the African savannah. Um, with regards to the objectives, we only actually need another three animals from the savannah, but we probably want a few extra because... Um, we might have to sell some animals off to eliminate overcrowding in exhibits, uh, especially with things like, you know, lions breeding like they do. Uh, if we get, like, 
that baby giraffe, for example, he's going to have to be sold off because the exhibit going to be too big otherwise, or too small, rather. If the hippos breed or something, you know, it's better to have too many than too few. Uh, we need 13 exhibits, and as I say, we've only got six, so we need another seven exhibits. But they can actually be whatever we want, just as long as we have at least 20 savannah and Africa, African savannah animals. Um... With regards to animals that are savannah but not from Africa, they obviously don't count. So we can have as many kangaroos as we want. They just don't count towards the objective. And the same with uh, the black book, because I think that's from India. Um, and there might be some other animal that I can't think of right now that is savannah but not Africa. Um, animal happiness 93 is currently 99. Guest happiness 93 is currently 96. 0, 0.875 is currently 86. So, I, as I said before, animal happiness won't be an issue unless we get like some seriously unhappy animals for some reason. Like an animal escapes, or the exhibit is just highly unsuitable, or we get overcrowding, causing the animals to be unhappy. Guest happiness 93 will be a big issue. That will be like the main thing to keep in mind. But, as I said before, We've got a lot of flat terrain, and it's like a sort of fairly square grid pattern, so we can just build to our heart's content with regards to scenery and um, things to keep the uh, guests happy. So, with that in mind, we basically just need to build another seven exhibits. And we've got $31,000, and I imagine that the zoo is probably actually quite profitable, given that we've got a lot of happy guests. Um, we don't have to build um, African savannah animals, but I'm going to build African elephant. And I've just noticed that we can't do dinosaur digs or marine mania, obviously. We will need animal enrichment. We don't need animal shelters, but we're going to need the swinging log toy. We don't need foliage, and we don't need endangered animals. We might go with animal houses later on if we've got uh, quite a profitable zoo with a lot of money and we still need animal, um, sorry, we still need guest happiness, then I might start investing in animal ha houses. Uh, but they are expensive, it's debatable how much they actually help, but I like using animal houses, personally, but I don't know like how much of a difference they really make. So straight away it's offering me a lion climbing rock, I don't want that. I think if you keep doing this, you can eventually change... Yeah, there you go. So now it's offering me the swinging log toy, which is actually what I want. It becomes available in 13 days. That's fine. Uh, I've got quite a big plot of land there. Is there anything I can build? I can't put the Japanese garden down. Um, which is about the only other building that I really want. Lions can't find any food. Uh, he's not been assigned, that's why. So we've got a load of hungry lions who weren't being fed. Alright, these lions are now going to be okay. They're very happy, they're just a bit hungry. Um, but yeah, I can't I can't put anything down here that I would need unless I put like, like another restaurant. Um or like a pro dog cafe. So I'm actually thinking I could put a duck pond just for a bit of scenery. Or I could put an animal house later on. I don't know how big they are, so I don't actually know how it would fit. Um I'm tempted to actually just start researching animal houses anyway, because I think I probably will end up using them. Um but, anyway, so two adult African elephants require 10 by 10 exhibit, which fits basically perfectly there. Uh, hopefully that is fresh water and not salt water, uh, but even if it isn't, then we'll just have to change that up. Now, I think I said this before, but the elephant description says to use baobabs, 
but I think you can actually just save a lot of money using Thornbush. I built that um, bit wrong, but hey ho. So African elephants right next to the elephant ride is quite fitting. Uh, that is actually fresh water. Uh, they want a toy that we don't have. They want actually more fresh water and more dirt. So I actually built this exhibit in quite a good location because it obviously saves me money on um, the terrain costs. Building it here. Alright, that seems fine. Saying there's too much savannah and not enough fresh water. God damn it. Right, that is fine now. No, it isn't. That should be fine now. Right. Um. So that's the suitability of 90. Uh, swinging Wog Toy is now available, so... We'll put down two of those. For a suitability of 93. I think I could probably put down more foliage, but we don't actually need it, because we only actually need a suitability of 80, which, as I said before, is incredibly low. And with that, we have exactly 20 animals from the savannah. Unfortunately, uh, we will have to sell off this giraffe when it grows to adulthood. I don't know what that noise was. Could be a lion, maybe? Um, that baby ostrich that we had at the start of the game has actually grown up. Um... And also, I've just realised, actually, I was actually going to have male, female, female. Uh, I was actually going to have another set of ostrich. Like that. So, now we've got... Oh yeah, we don't need to be researching this anymore. Uh, we do need staff education and um, animal care, though. And straight away, it's going for maintenance worker training one, which is completely useless, so we'll just go with some animal care for now. Um, hold off on the staff education for now. Guest happy is 98. I think that is genuinely the highest I've ever seen. Uh, animal happiness 97. Zero rating 86. I don't think I've ever had guest happiness at 98. Even in, like, freeform zoo. That is crazy. I don't know why these, these guests are so happy, but I'm not going to complain. And we've also just had another baby ostrich. Which, unfortunately, will have to be sold off. Oh. Okay. Uh, maybe adopting those extra ostriches was a bad idea, but... Because um, we've now actually got seven ostriches in an exhibit that's only big enough for five. Um, yeah. Hmm. Okay. So for all my talk about these animals being very unpopular, um, it actually doesn't really matter because the guests are very happy anyway. Whoops. And we are getting a lot of guests coming into the zoo, and then they're becoming very happy. So, it's probably a good idea to get one more exhibit, just so we have at least 20, even without babies being sold off and everything. Um, why have we only got three gazette? Uh, Hold up. Ah. 
So we got... Yeah, I was going to get two extra gazelle, and then I never did. So we got a male and a female, and then a baby female. So we can get... Uh, yeah. Another male, although apparently they don't like that. They don't like that either. I don't understand. Not enough shelters in the exhibit. Oh! I never actually built a shelter in this exhibit. Whoops. Okay. I think I'm actually going to need another... Yeah, I'm going to need another one. Right. Uh, well, that was dumb. Okay, so... It's a bit confusing because of this baby that's called... Baby female that is Gazelle 1. But long story short, we have two adult males and two adult females. And then a baby that will need to be sold off when it grows into adulthood. Um... But I am going to build another Savannah exhibit, just to be safe. Um, I don't actually know what right now. Uh, but that is a six square... Well, that is six tiles wide. Um, weirdly, Rhino isn't very popular, and they do actually require quite a big exhibit. Why these animals aren't very popular, I have no idea. Flamingo... I don't think that's very popular either. Cheetah's not very popular, and they require quite a big exhibit. Leopards are reasonably popular, but they require... Uh, the cat climbing tree. Technically, you can probably get away with not using it. Um, African buffalo... Common wildebeest. I'm going to just consult my guide. Um... Common wildebeest is only five attractiveness, but that's the same as like zebra, gazelle, and ostrich. Um, black rhino is actually only ten attractiveness, so it's a bit more attractive, but still tiny. Uh, leopard, on the other hand, yeah, cheetah is twenty attractiveness. Leopard is forty attractiveness. Um, and it requires a 7x10 exhibit. That's kind of annoying. Um, baboon is 10 attractiveness. And I would need, yeah, 6x10 exhibit. Uh, greater Flamingo, yeah, only 10 attractiveness. Hmm. I thought Flamingos might be more attractive than they are. Hyenas are 15 attractiveness, but they require 80 squares in their exhibit. And, yeah, so... What about the buffalo? Because that was something I was actually considering. Uh, buffalo would require... Actually, I could get away with a um, 6 by 10 exhibit. And it's only 5 attractiveness. So, yeah, this is a problem. On the one hand... You know, all these animals from the African savannah that I haven't already got are pretty unattractive to guests. Uh, okay, we've got an ill ostrich, that's not good. This ostrich wants a mate. Uh, there's also not enough shelters. Yeah, um, with all these extra animals, I'm also going to need a lot of shelters. Ha. Huh. Uh, how do I want to build this shelter? Because I don't want to build it there, because then that kind of defeats the point putting the observation center there, observation area there. I can put it there, but then I'm obviously going to have to move the um, exhibit entrances. Because otherwise it's going to be blocked off. 
So I'll just move them temporarily like that. That's fine. Well, not temporarily, but move them like so, and that is fine. You know what? I don't think that this um, guest happiness really matters too much, so I'm going to build some buffalo. And if guests don't like them, that is kind of too bad. Um, buffalo? Hmm. I haven't actually decided what I want to build, to be honest, to be perfectly honest. I'm saying buffalo, but now I'm thinking, do I really want to build a buffalo exhibit? I could also build warthog, because they breed like crazy, and they're quite cheap. I think. Um, but no, let's go with uh, Buffalo. Right. Hopefully... The fact that we've got, whoops, hopefully the fact that we've got um, one male and two female is okay and the extra female isn't going to complain that it doesn't have a mate. I know it said to use variety, but I'm just wondering if it is actually possible to win this scenario only using African savannah animals after all of my talk of them being like really unpopular with guests. Oh, they don't want any rocks at all. Wow, that's incredible. Um, tall grass is seems to be the foliage of choice for most savannah animals, which is handy because I can put them uh, two by two to fill up the grid square, and uh, it's reasonably cheap. So there you go. Guess happened is ninety-seven. We have no problematic guests. We also have 281 guests. And even at $49, we're getting a lot of guests coming into the zoo. Uh, we have four benefactors, but I think that will probably increase with time. So, at the moment, I'm thinking this is actually quite an easy scenario. Certainly a lot easier than the last one, but can we keep guest happiness above 93? It's currently 98. Um, all right. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight exhibits. We only actually need another five. And exhibits are very cheap to build because most of the terrain is just savannah anyway. Um, so if I just keep building savannah animals, then we should be fine. And on that note, um, what are we currently? Oh, animal fertility. Right. Um, wildebeest. Why not? Common wildebeest. Only five attractiveness, but then again, the African buffalo exhibit that I just built is only uh, five attractiveness, so who cares? Uh, common wildebeest. Six per ten exhibit for four wildebeest. That's fine. Just to check, actually, the buffalo, I built it, it says uh, 6 by 10. Yeah, that's fine for 3. But we can't build, because they need uh, 20 squares each. So, common wildebeest, if we built an exhibit for uh, 4 wildebeest, we can build it 6 by 10, and that is perfectly fine. Just check that the buffalo isn't complaining that he wants a mate. No, he seems fine. Yeah. All right. Um, let's just build a six by ten exhibit for some common wildebeest. We can build that over here. Um, like so. And then we put in some path, like so. Put in some exhibit signs. Put in 
doing some observation sensors actually, or observation areas rather. Uh, zoom map there. Put in more paths like round there, like so. Uh, zoom map. Exhibit signs. Some guests just vomited. Guests have just gone down to 97. Um, African buffalo can't find any food. That is an issue. Probably actually, probably better idea to have one zookeeper just looking after the elephants and then this zookeeper, or rather, Hmm. Yeah, this zookeeper can look after the elephants on his own, or on their own, and then this zookeeper can look after the buffalo and the wildebeest. Because the elephants will require quite a bit of attention, because they probably poo quite a lot, so one zookeeper can just look after that on his own. So, he's got the luxurious job of looking after elephant poo. But I guess he gets to see a lot of elephants in his line of work. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Alright. Enough dallying. Wildebeest. They want tall grass. Surprise, surprise. They don't want a lot of it though. And a bit of rocks. And I say a bit. Alright, what terrain do you want? Bit of dirt, bit of sand, a bit of fresh water, okay. That petting zoo is getting a lot of use from all the sound effects that keep being played. Quite a bit of dirt. And not much fresh water. And that is an exhibit suitability of 88. That's 90. Ninety-one. I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay. Um Right. So this zookeeper can look after the wildebeest and the buffalo. This zookeeper can look after just the elephants. Right. This zoo is actually coming along very nicely. And saying that, we just had an ill elephant, so he's going to have to look after that. And we are actually researching animal antibiotics, which will be done in 26 days, which is like beginning of September. So, yeah, um, just keep building your exhibits, I suppose. Probably got 301 guests. Uh, over here, we could actually build some flamingo, although I think that is actually salt water, not fresh water. Uh, we can level up that terrain. Build a path like that. More path there. And then we can put in some zoo signs and another zoo map there. And then put in some concrete observation areas. And we've just got a baby lion. Um, some paths in like that. Uh, put an obelisk down with a bit of one by one scenery. And then we can put in the 
brick wall. And like that. And there. A bit more brick wall there. And a bit more brick wall like that. And then over here, we can put in some more exhibits. So we should have nine exhibits. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine exhibits. All right. So we only need another four exhibits. So let us build some stuff. Uh, we are probably actually very profitable as a zoo. I've not actually checked finances or calculated profits. Um, so, if we got the cat climbing tree, we could get the leopard, but it is actually probably not strictly necessary. So two leopards, even though leopards are very leopards are solitary, but two leopards is a seven to ten exhibit, so that's fine. Um, and then that's the tenth exhibit. And I'm going to want paths like that. I'm going to want some zoo scenery. So we can put in a big fountain there. And a duck pond. Actually, I'll put a duck pond in there. That doesn't fit. But we can put in a duck pond there. Put some more paths in. Still at 97 guest happiness, which is ridiculous. Yeah, I was thinking we're going to struggle with getting 93. Um, so, yeah, put in the, um, the leopard enclosure. Uh, which will require another zookeeper. So, a male and female leopard. We've got diverse species for getting 10 species in the zoo. Doesn't come with any money, unfortunately. Leopards are a bit unusual because they want some rainforest in their exhibit. They're not really African savannah animals, but they are for the purposes of this game, I suppose. Well, maybe they are, I don't know, actually. Um, not enough fresh water, probably... How is he for sand? He's fine for sand. Although, actually, he wants a bit less sand. Dirt? Yeah. Alright, and then a bit of fresh water. Okay, it's fine. Uh, rocks, foliage, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, saying to use the Baobab... Um, I don't know if I can get away with just using the thorn bush or if I should actually just use the Baobab. Because Baobab is expensive. Um, let's try thorn bush, which it does actually like, apparently. Whoops. I mean, we only need 80 suitability, but uh, I just figure it's like we spend $80 on four um, thorn bush or $300 on some on one baobab that occupies the same space. So uh, he wants some more foliage and 
he also wants the cat climbing tree. Suitability is 89. But the fact that it's yellow means that it's not actually happy with that suitability. Okay, it's now 91. 94. Uh, this is more like a rainforest animal with the amount of foliage at once and also the terrain. That's 97 suitability. That's still 97 suitability, so that doesn't seem to have made any difference. Um, reduced food costs. That'll come in useful. According to the guide, you can actually use Thornbush. According to the guide, Thornbush and Baobab are liked equally by Mr. Leopard. So, the only thing we can actually really do to increase the suitability would be to use the rock cave instead of the wood shelter. And then also, we're going to want the cat climbing tree. Which, unfortunately, means we're going to have to research a lot of animal enrichment things. Because I think, unfortunately, cat climbing tree is like the last thing uh, that you research. Uh, the way that I've built this, I actually plan to get two exhibits in, but that's not going to happen. So instead I'm just going to have the leopards here, and then put in some more scenery. Uh, I'm actually just going to change that to... Oh wow, Savannah is actually quite expensive. Uh, yeah, let's just change that to Asphalt. Asphalt is the cheapest in terms of terrains. And we can change that to slight walk or sand rather. Okay. Um, so we've got ten exhibits with you need to be assigned to Mr. Leopard. Okay. You might as well rake up that poo I suppose. Because if you don't do it then Someone else will, but... So there's the uh, Blue Fang Plane. Blue Fang Plane, because it's uh, September 17th. Uh, so, we've now got Guest Happiness 96. Um, Animal Happiness 98. Zero rating 88. Guest Happiness back up to 97, so... Yeah. It's consistently very high, which is very good. Um, I mean, I could actually put like another restaurant around here or something. Uh, as for just like general scenery, whoops, we can continue our brick wall. Like so. I don't know how I want to continue expanding the zoo, but I'm just putting in this brick wall sort of prematurely. Um, I can always delete it later if I want to actually expand the zoo out. As for here, I think I will actually research some animal houses. I don't know if I can actually put an animal house in that space, but if I can, that would be very convenient. Failing that, uh, we could actually just put, like, more duck ponds and like another fountain or something. Because I don't think I can put an exhibit in that's 4 by 10. At least not like an, not anything... Hmm. I will check. So let's just quickly save the game. We need three more exhibits. Can I put anything in that's like 4 by 10? Hmm. I could put in three warthogs in an exhibit, which wouldn't really be much of an exhibit, but it it does work. So I could put in three warthogs. Um, I could put in two flamingos, which is actually the minimum that they need to be happy. But again, it's not really much of an exhibit. Um, I could put in two baboon but they want three to be happy. 
I can put in two hyena, but they want at least three to be happy. So no, I can't put anything in. So I'm going to leave that space for now, and hopefully I can put in like um. Hopefully later on I can put in like a. An animal house, maybe? If there's an animal house that fits in like a 4x10 slot. Uh, as for here... Put a sand archway in. And then another one like that. And then line this with pass, and then put in Sphinx statue z like that, and obelisks like that. I mean, I don't know how effective that actually is, but I just figure, you know, I can do something with it. Uh, and then we also want to put in. A bit of low hedge fencing, like that, and like that, and then like that. Reptile house is now available. I'm pretty sure the reptile house is probably way too big. Yep. I'm thinking if we can get anything there, it'll either be the nocturnal house, which I think is pretty small, or the insect house, which is sort of long and thin. But it might be five tiles wide, I don't know. Maybe the aviary, but I think again that's five tiles wide. But saying that, there's nothing to stop me actually just converting that bit to asphalt and building something here. Like the aviary. All selected programs have been researched. Okay. Uh, so we can work on staff education. That's just going to go to maintenance work training. Um, animal enrichment. Uh, that's just going to research a load of stuff we don't need. I mean, the leopards are happy, and they do have 97 suitability, so... Probably don't actually need that. Probably better off going with... Staff education. We will need maintenance workers later on, it's just that maintenance worker training 1 is completely useless. Because it just means, as I keep saying, probably about every video... Uh, that the... Maintenance workers clean up trash quicker which is completely useless for us. Uh, if I build another exhibit over here, then the zookeeper that looks after the wildebeest and the buffalo can look after the buffalo and then that exhibit, and then I move that zoo... that exhibit entrance over to here, and the leopards to, like, over here, and then have one zookeeper look after the leopard and the wildebeest. And then that means that I don't have to have one extra zookeeper only looking after one exhibit, or alternatively the leopard guy only looking after the leopards, or the leopard guy looking after, like, leopards and then something over here, which is quite far away. So, uh, hopefully that wasn't too complicated, but it will make sense in, like, ten minutes or so. Um, I'm thinking rhino, even though they're actually quite expensive. Can I fit a rhino exhibit in here? Uh, no, unfortunately that is only seven squares wide. Uh, right. Uh, we've now got a baby leopard. How are we actually looking for baby animals, by the way? Because we don't... We might have to start selling some stuff off. Um... Primate house is now available. Large amount of foliage, feeling crowded by too many guests. Yeah, but, you know, I don't trust you when it comes to foliage, so. Right, we've got too many zebra, basically. Um, female, male, male, female, female, female. Um, I think, basically, if we just sell off this female, female, male, whoop, oh god. Male, female, this naming system is so confusing. Male, female, 
female. Still not big enough. Okay, so solve this one. Male, female, fe male, female. That's fine. I'm getting a lot of vomiting guests, but I think it's fine. Uh, this ostrich wants a mate, and the exhibit is not big enough. So we have a male, a female, a male, a female, a female, and a female. All right. So as I ex as unfortunately I expected, ostriches actually do mate up. I think zebras are fine. Like they don't care about mating. So you can have like one male zebra and then like two. Or maybe even like three female zebras. Um, but unfortunately these ostriches are complaining. So we've got a male, a female, a male, a female, a female, and a female. So this one wants a mate, so we can sell that off. This one wants a mate, so we can sell that off. And this one wants a mate, so we can sell that off. Male, male. Male, male, female, female. That's fine. Zebra, fine. Hippo, fine. But when this one grows up, then we'll have to sell him off. Uh, gazelles, the exhibit's not big enough. So we've got a female, a female, a male, a female, a male, and a male. Right, well... Oh, and a female. That's a baby. Uh, Jesus Christ. How many gazelle have we actually got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six adults and a baby. So ignoring the baby, we've got a female, female, male, female, male, male. So we've actually got three males and three females. So why don't we sell off this female... And this male, which I think are the original. And then that's fine. Hopefully nobody's complaining about they can't find their mate or anything like that. No, it's fine. Giraffes, right. You want a mate, but unfortunately we're going to have to sell you off. Lions. Not enough shelters and they want a toy. Which basically means that... Uh, we've got a baby male and a baby female. Other than that, it's fine. So, we can actually... Let's put in another toy for these lions. Avery is now available. Uh, and we also put in a small shelter over here. And there you go, that's fine. Alright. Elephant, fine. Buffalo, not enough shelters. So that's probably a bad idea. There you go. We've got an ill African elephant. Uh, wildebeest, how are you? Not enough shelters. That's fine. And then leopard is fine. For now, at least. So, quick question. Can I fit an aviary in here? No, it's too wide. All right. Uh, so I'd have to make it one tile wider like that and then fit the aviary in. I'm going to save the game real quick. So just check as well. Staff assigned yes to all exhibits. Because we don't want any exhibits to not have a zookeeper specifically assigned to that exhibit. Um... Right, we've got no more ill animals. I guess happiness is still 96. Okay, we've got some guests that are hungry, thirsty, and uh, need the toilet, which is kind of indicative that we need to put down a second restaurant. Or, you know, like a prairie dog cafe. I'm thinking we put, we put um, a restaurant down here. Much should fit like that, but uh, we can put restaurant down there, and then maybe actually a carousel that does fit perfectly like that. All right, 
the insect house has just become available, and the insect house was actually five squares wide anyway, so... Long story short, uh, we wouldn't have been able to fit in an animal house there anyway. Um, okay, all the basic animal houses are now available, so... Until we actually start getting some animal houses, we can stop researching them. Guess I'll just back up to 97. Raise the price on this restaurant to $16. Raise that to $6. And yeah, what I like about this zoo actually is that the way I've built it, because I've put like the brick wall, not only does that raise guest happiness, but it actually kind of makes it feel a bit more realistic because you're not sort of aware that like, oh, this is the edge of the, this is like, you know. It's sort of like this is the end of the zoo, um, rather than it being like, oh yeah, there's a path here, and then there's just like miles and miles of the African savanna. It's like, no, don't walk over there, that's the edge of the zoo. Um, I don't know, it sort of makes it come together somehow, like, it just feels more realistic, where it's like, oh, you've got the leopards over here, then you've got the fountains and your duck ponds. A bit of scenery, you know. This carousel is actually being used, yeah. It's hard to tell because that carousel's making so much noise, but this carousel is actually being used. This restaurant's already making a big, big profit. This restaurant is making four and a half thousand dollars a month. That's, that's uh, ridiculous. Out of interest, how much have we made from that compost building? I put it over here. $9,400, $854 a month. Yeah. Compost buildings are kind of broken in that they're so ridiculously effective. Anyway, uh, what do we want to put over here? Um, hyena, maybe? Um, or baboon? Uh, baboon, I'm thinking, because, actually, hyena have 15 attractiveness, and I think, the yeah, baboon is 10. So let's actually go with the hyena, uh, and we can do an 8x10 exhibit, and that is big enough for, um, oh yeah, that's only 7 squares. So, yeah. 8 by 10 is big enough for 4 adult hyena. I could probably actually get away with using the uh, wooden fencing for this. So I probably actually, yeah, made a bit of a mistake there. Yeah, it does save me a bit of money. Um, actually, maybe it didn't. Oh, whatever. It's fine. I've got I've got quite a lot of money. The zoo is pretty profitable. Right. Um, yeah. Tour guide training one is now available. That's useless because we don't have any train uh, tour guides. I could get tour guides, but like the fact that I've already got ninety seven guest happiness with no tour guides is leading me to suspect that tour guides are basically not worth it uh, in this game, which is kind of a shame. That is the exact size, I believe, for a prairie dog cafe. Um, that's actually two tiles too big. But I can put path there. Um, whether I want to put one down or not, I don't know. But I could put one down anyway, I suppose. I doubt it's going to be unprofitable. And if it is, then I'll just get rid of it. So, prairie dog cafe down like that. Path there, and then once again we can put in a bit of scenery in the form of sinks and obelisk, and then we can also put down, uh... yeah, so we've got the first customer at the Prairie Dog Cafe. Right, so we shouldn't have any 
Well, we've got two hungry guests, but, you know. We shouldn't have any guests complaining at this rate. Um, I'm also going to put in a fountain. Mm -hmm, actually, I was kind of hoping I, I could put in an animal house. Like the aviary. Primate house is too big to fit there. Uh, reptile house is... I think reptile house is basically the same size as the primate house. Insect house isn't actually that effective, but it is cheap. Yeah, let's put an aviary down. Why not? Should just destroy that brick wall. So yeah, this is the thing. Is Even though I've put the brick wall down, I can just destroy it. And then expand outwards anyway. So... It's only birds of the tropical rainforest at the moment, but I don't have to pay any upkeep on that. Um, and it might just get some guests coming over here. Uh, might just make guests a bit happier, although not that we really need that right now. Um, so, whoops. Uh, we'll put in some signs. So we've got the first customer at the aviary. You can tell by the sound effect of birds twittering. Getting a lot of people going to that prairie cafe. Um, and the restaurant is still being used. Carousel's being used. Yeah, this zoo is uh, very good indeed, I've got to say. Um, I haven't even used 12 months yet, and we've basically won. Uh, we just need, like, I think this exhibit and then two more exhibits. Ah! Uh, okay, this is an issue. The um, exhibit fencing is starting to wear down. So, we're going to need maintenance workers. So, if we hide the... It, it does sort of wear down after about a year, which is, you know, what's actually happened. Uh, we're probably actually going to need about five maintenance workers, to be honest. Um, it's, it's worse, obviously, on these exhibits, because those are the exhibits that I built first. So, where did I put that maintenance worker? There. Let's get another maintenance worker to just fix that. And then, Hippo, yeah, alright, I don't think it's going to be like, cause for concern, just yet, but as I say, um, we do need these maintenance workers to fix up these fences. And once you get maintenance worker two, maintenance worker training two, then he can fix fences even faster. I don't think there's anything that makes them move quicker, but I find it weird that you walk past that bit of broken fence to walk over to this bit to fix that bit. But hey ho. So that is four maintenance workers. Pick him up and fix that bit of fencing. Uh, there's still a bit in the gazelle and the giraffe that needs fixing. Um, yeah, there, over there. And the gazelle, I... Oh, I actually didn't see that. Um, Zuki Training 2 is now available. Maintenance Worker Training 2, which means that maintenance workers will be able to repair fences even faster, or faster, will be done at the end of January, basically, in 30 days. Let's save the game. So, guest happiness back up to 98. We have no problematic guests. We also have 424 guests. 15 of them are benefactors. That will go up. Uh, 98 animal happiness. Zoo rating of 89. People seem to like our aviary, so that's good. Lion 1 has given birth. Do we have any problematic overcrowding with animals? Yes, we do. We're going to need to... 
The problem is, is I don't know which one is the uh, baby, but I think it was Hippo 2. Uh, zebras, fine. Ostrich, fine. Gazelle, they're complaining it's not big enough. Alright. So we've got a female, a female, male, male, female, female. Once again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, well, I'm thinking we just sell off this male. And then that should be fine, because then we've got one male basically looking after three or four three females and they're not complaining about loss of mate or anything so basically with gazelle you can just have one male and then loads of females in this game anyway uh, giraffe lions yeah this looks like a big problem okay uh, well we can sell off lion one and then we've got three that's a problem actually two female lions and a male and then a baby female and a baby female um elephants unfortunately this elephant will need to be sold off eventually buffalo they're fine wildebeest exhibit's not big enough right so we've got a male male female female male male so sell off this male actually if we sell off this male is he going to be complaining that he can't find his mate no that seems fine not about foliage but that's fine leopard uh, he'll need to be sold off when he grows up and exhibit 11 which I still actually decided what I'm going to put in oh yeah hyena um, yeah, so this is 8 by 10, which is big enough for, uh, for hyena like that. Uh, from the carnivore zoo, which I think is about the only other time I've ever actually used hyena, um, hyena seem to breed quite a bit, so I'm probably going to have to sell off quite a few baby hyena eventually. seems fine for terrain. So they want Umbrella Thorn Acacia Tree. Can I get away with Thorn Bush? Probably can to be fair. And then some rocks. So that is 84 suitability. Still 84 suitability. We're still in the 84 suitability. Alright. Um, let's just save the game quickly. What happens if I use instead of the tree that it actually told me to use? Which was the Umbrella Thorn. We don't have enough money, so it's fine. I was just trying to save money, but I don't actually need to. Yeah, that's 92 suitability. So, you can use the thorn bush, but they much prefer the umbrella thorn acacia, umbrella thorn tree. There you go, 95 suitability. Uh, Zebra 2 has died of old age. That's weird, considering he's, like, only 12 months old. Um... So, do we actually still have... Yeah, Zebra 1 and Zebra 2 died of old age. We do have animal longevity researched, so... Oh, wait. We don't have animal longevity researched? Is that not a thing, then? What? Animal fertility, animal antibiotics... 
Are you telling me that that's not a thing? I swear there's something that's like animal longevity. Um, but, I mean, it's fine, I suppose. Male, female, male, female. Yeah, I guess. Maintenance workers need to repair some of these ostrich and gazelle exhibit fencing. Uh, Right, now he's saying that the exhibit's not big enough, which I expected. So, male, female, female, female. Sell off this female. Uh, these wildebeest seem to breed a fair amount. Um, I think we could just sell off this male. I think we've got two males and two females, that's fine. Uh, this leopard, yep, that's fine. Alright. Yeah, I probably want to research... Okay, I don't need that, so hold up. I'm surprised that maintenance worker training 3 is actually available to research, considering it is completely useless. Um, other than, like, the rock cave for the leopard and the cat climbing tree for the leopard. There's actually nothing to research. Um, and technically neither of those are strictly necessary because hmm, I guess if I wanted to get like you know, 99 suitability. Highest quality exhibits, we got that for having 10 exhibits with I think over like 90 suitability. Um, unfortunately it didn't come with any money. Uh, you get an award for a 90 zoo rating, but again, unfortunately, it doesn't come with any money. Um, but that's like Best Zoo Silver Trophy Award. I don't actually want to put a brick wall down just yet, because I might actually build more exhibit over here. Um, we could build the Flamingo, which would be very fitting to build next to the aviary. Put a bit path down there, and then we'll put down low hedge fence like this. I need to hide the trees so I can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, Zebra two has died of old age, but again, like you know. We did have quite a few zebras called Zebra to. Oh! Oh no, did I not assign a zookeeper to this? I did not assign a zookeeper to this exhibit. Right, that is not good. Uh, let's hide that building. Right, so... Alright, I did come up with a plan for this. So, you can look after the leopards and the wildebeest. So, I want to put the trees back in so I can actually see what I'm doing. Because I don't want to put the um, entrance to the exhibit down, only to find that uh, they can't actually get in. I've just realized that I'm better off doing it like that, or that. There you go. Right, so now he just looks after those two exhibits. So... Uh, right. You look after Hippo and Zebra, that's fine. No, hang on. Right. You look after Hippo and Zebra, which are right next to each other, that's fine. You look after Gazelle and Ostrich, uh, which are also right next to each other, so that's fine. But I'm actually going to do this. Okay, that's fine. Um, you look after... Hide the buildings. You look after giraffe and lion. Uh, which is 
fine. Where's the entrance? There it is. That's fine. Uh, you look after just the elephants. That's fine. You look after the wildebeest and the buffalo. So you don't need to be looking after the wildebeest no more. Instead you look after the buffalo and the hyena. And I need to move these exhibit entrances. Like that. So you look after the hyena. And I need to plunk you in there. Rename that to hyena exhibit. And then... This guy looks after the leopards and the wildebeest. And then it's fine. So we've got one zookeeper looking after every exhibit. Uh, we've got six zookeepers for, for 11 exhibits. The only one that I've actually got... Um, one zookeeper only looking after the one exhibit is the elephants. And I'm just doing that because I think elephants probably require a bit more care and attention. Because I'm imagining that they probably poo quite a bit. Um, I feel like something just got deleted there. Did, uh... Uh, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I'm seeing things. Right. Um, guess I'll be back up to 98 now. So, how are we for uh, animals? Male, female, female. Gazelle 1 has died of old age. Uh, let's put in another female zebra. Before all these animals die of old age. So the ostriches are fine, the hippos are fine, the zebras are fine. The gazelles are okay. Female, female, male, female. Yeah, that's fine. Giraffes, we've got a male and a female. Lion, we've got a male, female, a female. And two baby females, that's fine. Elephants, they're fine. Buffalo, uh, they're fine, but when this one grows up it'll need to be sold off. Or we just sell off one of Buffalo 3 or Buffalo 4. Uh, Wildebeest, fine. Leopard, fine, but when he grows up he'll need to be sold off. Hyena is fine. With 95 suitability. So, yeah. Um, two more exhibits to build. Let's build some... Let's get some flamingos going. Uh, so flamingos, to check the guide... Um, yeah, we can build a 6x10 exhibit for four female flamingos, or four, four adult flamingos, rather. Uh, and flamingo... Uh, it seems like they don't jump or climb, which is interesting. And they also seemingly... yeah have no strength at all, so I can actually just use basically any exhibit fencing. Uh, just save the game, just to make sure, because I don't want to find out that this is actually not going to work. So we'll use this fencing, which I don't think I've ever actually used before, and get a 6x10 exhibit. So this is exhibit 12, and then, so flamingos, actually, yeah, we've got 90 zoo rating, we've got best zoo, silver trophy, which doesn't actually come with any money, unfortunately. Uh, flamingos are African savannah animals, but they do want uh, quite a lot of fresh water in their exhibit. Do they want any dirt? Yeah, they want dirt. And quite a lot of dirt, actually. Probably more dirt than savannah. Do they want any sand? Yep, they want a bit of sand. So even though they're listed as savannah animals, savannah's actually, like, one of 
they're basically actually more like a um, a wetland animal. They want water reeds. There's not really much savanna about them, really. Too much savanna, not enough fresh water. Yeah, I mean, they do want a tiny bit of savanna in their exhibit, but really not much. And uh, water reeds and some rocks. Do, 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 do. Yeah, those hyena make a lot of noise. So that is actually only 90 suitability. That's 94. That's 97, that's fine. You don't want to put in too much foliage because then obviously the um, the exhibit suitability actually drops. So we're going to need the final zookeeper who will look after these flamingos. And then the final exhibit. Um, I'm also aware that we're coming up for two hours, but I only have one more exhibit to build. Um, we could build Wild Dog, actually, because we do have a lot of money. Uh, just check. Can I build a Wild Dog exhibit in two minutes? Challenge. Uh, African Wild Dog. Uh, yeah, we're going to need, like, believe it or not, African Wild Dog, even though it's got 25 attractiveness, uh, for six adult wild dog, um, we're going to need 21 by 10 exhibit, which is 210 squares, uh, which is absolutely enormous. Can I actually build such an exhibit? Uh, they have no strength, but they do jump over, so we'll basically just use uh, this fencing. Yeah, 21 by 10 is pretty darn big. Um, that's 21 there. And that is 10. So, yeah. And then that is big enough for 6 African wild dog. And I also want to destroy that... Um, brick wall there. Don't want to destroy the path though. Okay, save the game. Uh, unfortunately I won't actually have time in the um, two hours to complete this exhibit. No, they don't want to lean to. They want wooden shelter. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to probably end this part here now before the recording cuts off because I hit the two hour limit. But basically, we have actually essentially won this scenario, so um, all I need to do now is just build up this wild dog exhibit. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care, like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'll see you in part two of this scenario. Uh, we still have like another nine months to go. Uh, take care, folks. Have a nice day. I'll see you in part two. Bye-bye.